Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a video to talk about and discuss the NTUser.dat file that's found in Windows. And hopefully by the end of this video, we would have been able to shed a little bit of light and you would have known a little bit more about this file in case you were unaware. Now, first of all, a brief background. Um, hidden in every user profile on Windows is a file named NTUser.dat. And that's all in capitals. And what this file does is it contains basically the settings and preferences for each user and user profile on your system. And what Windows does is basically with this file, it automatically loads changes and saves the file for you. So the next time you restart your Windows operating system, it can remember all your preferences and settings. Now that's a brief overview of the ntuser.dat. Now where this file is located uh, is in your user profile. So there are two ways basically you can find this. And first of all, if we head to our file explorer, and this applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, you head to your user profile if you have it pinned to your navigation pane in the file explorer or if it's placed on your desktop. Open this and what you need to do is because it's a hidden file, um, because obviously um, Microsoft has hidden this file as a system file because they don't intend for you to edit or delete this file. So basically Microsoft hides it as a system file. So we head to our view and obviously we just show and um, enable hidden items. Now you'll see straight away that there's my ntuser.dat file. And it's about 5.5 megabytes on my system and was last modified on the 24th of January, which was yesterday. And this the size of this NT user file can range anywhere between three and even a couple of gigs, depending on what you have saved and how much data you have saved in your user profile. Now, that's the first place you can find it. It's actually in the same location, but there are two ways to basically get to it. Then another way you can get to it is head to your PC and head to the installation drive of Windows. So for most users, that will be your C drive. And here you can see users. And obviously, you need to have enabled hidden items. And here we head over to our user profile once again. And there we go. That's the ntuser.dat file. Now, first of all, a couple of things about this is that the file contains your user profile settings. So basically, every time you make a change uh, to your desktop, your wallpaper, or a new shortcut, or you install a printer, or you change your monitor resolution, um, just to mention a couple of examples, um, Windows places all that data into this file because um, Windows needs to remember your preferences the next time it loads. And so basically what that means is it's a file that contains uh, your user profile settings and customizations for Windows. Okay, so that's the first thing about that ntuser.dat file. Then the second one is that every user has a ntuser.dat file. Now, in the um, basically in the old days and back in the day, um, earlier versions of Windows, when you started Windows, as most of the older views of this channel may remember, um, every user of the computer saw the same desktop. So there weren't different user profiles. So you saw the same desktop programs and files. Now that's obviously all changed as an example in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So every user profile now has a ntuser.dat file. So if I head back and I click on another profile, so this is the default profile which isn't used on my system because obviously I'm admin and I'm signed in with my user profile I've just shown you. You'll see the ntuser.dat file is a lot smaller and was only last modified on the 5th of December. So there's not much going on in this user profile. So that's just to indicate that um, it is available in all user profiles on your system. And heading back to my main user profile. And then something very important to remember about this file, in case you're unaware, is you should never ever delete this user.dat, ntuser.dat file. And the reason for that is because Windows needs this to load your settings and preferences and removing it would corrupt your user profile. That's why Microsoft hides this file. And if um, it's gone, when you next log in, um, you won't be able to load all your user settings and you'll see a prompt that Windows can't sign into your account. So that's why I'm mentioning never delete this file because obviously you could cause a couple of problems on your system. And just wanted to discuss this. Um, um, just a thought came to me the other day to talk about this. And uh, um, 
Just wanted to shed a little bit more light in case we're unaware. And that's just a couple of stats about the enteruser.dat file in Windows in case you were interested and in case you were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.